Okay, welcome back for the last uh, half an hour, actually. So, we have uh, Dawn and Nathan. Uh, what were you two planning on doing? Um, I don't know, what do you think, Dawn? Shall we go meet up with them at the, uh, at the meet? Do we want to ditch the car first? Just kind of mm. pulled me over and there's video evidence now. Well, I suppose that's... Also, do you need this? As I hand him the wag of coke. Ah, yes. You liar. <laughs> what, are you expecting <clears throat> me to confess to a cop that I had drugs on me? You're wonderful. <laughs> I'm going to take the coke back and sprinkle and dab a little bit and then leave the bag there. Okay. Tuck it down the seat a little. Head back to the car. <clears throat> drive away. And then let go of the cop. Facade. Pretty good, right? Creepy. Real creepy. Yes, but I did that first try. Oh, really? Yes. You know what? I'm very proud. Excellent. Now, I am quite famished. Could we perhaps find somewhere that I could have a snack? Um. Hmm. Why do we pick up women around here? I don't know, but I missed you on them the last time. Yeah, yeah, let's go there again. Okay. So, you'll be taking care of that. In the meantime, Emil, you and Ryan will deliver the gorilla. Um, you'll head over to the uh, church. You sort of, and uh, once again, there's that very large African man is in there. And he'll be kind of sitting around. Seeming like he's in the same spot he was the first time you saw him. Uh, hello. I kind of turned towards you. You have your gorilla. Can I kind of stand up? Uh, like, he's a like, very like large man, you know, so he's just going to kind of move over towards yeah. you. Where is it? Point to the van. <laughs> He'll go over, open up the back, pull it out and throw it over his shoulder, and just start walking. Moderately impressed look on my face. <laughs> I will tell Nefertiti, you want to meet, yes? Yes. Then be here tomorrow night. Very well. And he'll leave. So, uh, okay. what now? Uh, turn the van and head back to the place, or perhaps. I'll text, I'll text like Nathan, are you guys coming? Because uh, the trade already happened. <laughs> Let's Excellent. meet back When's tomorrow. The meeting? <laughs> tomorrow. All right. Return the van. Um, return stealthily to the where we stay. Got it. Maybe get a cloak <laughs> with a hood. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now you heard for the two of them, what's your two plans? Are you going to just meet them back at the... Uh, you were gonna, Are you going to ditch the car then? And then what are you going to do? He's... Nathan and Dot. Mm -hmm. I feel like we should ditch the car. I was thinking we could go do what uh, 
get a little dinner, so to speak, and then make a get there. Hmm. Alright, sure. I will say, though, the thugs are expecting me back at some point, because we were having a whale of a time. Why don't we make a gift of it to the thugs? Ooh. You think any of them would be interested in, uh, my special sort of fun? Um. Or was there anyone else at the bar who might have been? Hmm. I expect there's some women there. I'm not that big. Yeah. Alright, so you're going out on a so-called night on the town, then? Yes. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll nice the bar. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll text um, Emil the address in case he wants to join. I'm pretty sure Emil and Ryan are going to be dropping off a van um, at a rental place, yeah. which is pretty far away from where that is. Yeah, probably just meet you guys back at the hotel. Uh, <laughs> at the condominium, was it you got? Condo. Yeah, condo. Or, yeah. Townhouse. Which, so, um, no oh, townhouse, yeah, or, 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 rental townhouse. Which, um, if you're going stealth mode, Nathan knows some stealth, or Ryan knows some stealth mode. <laughs> if we're, uh, trying to avoid people, don't worry. I can get us back home, uh, in no time. We're just gonna need a shower afterwards. <laughs> Very well. You're gonna go on amazing sewer adventures with the cockroach man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. Oh. This seems like it's got enough room. He's going to transform into his massive roach form. <laughs> Follow me! <laughs> okay. It's like his horrible antennas are twitching, you know? The nine foot tall roach will lead you on major sewer adventures. <laughs> Hmm. I wonder how uh, Ryan and Emil are going to get home. I hope they thought to rent another car. <laughs> <laughs> I thought of that, but then Ryan's like, oh, I have a way. I'm like, sure, follow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, as soon as you met in stealth, that's what comes to Ryan's mind. It's so pleasant down here! <laughs> I live for the lot! The smells, the sights! So quiet and dark! No one bothers you! He's like doing that like mm -hmm. thing where he's cleaning his antenna, you know? Oh. <laughs> yeah, it smells <clears throat> worse than the insides of a deer. <laughs> Mm, deer! I like venison! I was always good as a hunter! <laughs> That's amazing. I love Ryan. He's so helpful. Like, I've seen him in his cockroach farm, but this is the first time I've inter prolonged interaction with him in his cockroach farm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You, you've also noticed, strangely enough, like, Smaller roaches keep falling off of him. He could scuttle along and you could stand on his back and, like, ride him through the sewer. <laughs> he could. He can stand on, like, his two legs. Or he could get down and scurry around either. I probably could you ride him. Because <laughs> he's, he's a giant roach man, nonetheless, you know, so he's got, like, you know... Yeah. The horrible, like, clawed... The four... Clawed. <laughs> Why am I going rad? Because <laughs> I needed it for stream. So go and keep doing what you're doing. I'm still on stream. <laughs> okay. Don't interrupt, kid. Aurora. Yeah. Huh. Aurora! Yeah, come on. You're good. Wow, it sounds just like Ryan. Ryan. Yeah. What? Uh-oh. Uh, Ryan had a cockroach daughter. Uh oh, she knew off the one thing. Oh, there it goes. I fixed it. <laughs> I keep forgetting that I have yet to change that. I have the backdrop <laughs> memory card still, or like a flash drive plugged in, and she knocked it a little bit, so it clicked oh, out man. for a second. 
So everything went dark, and it was just us floating in the void. <laughs> just a second. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, you'll go through amazing sewer adventures with the giant cockroach man. Uh, cool. You can discuss, actually, uh, hunting techniques and get on some, some interesting stories of hunting. Cool. We mm -hmm. exchange hunting stories. Yeah. Well, he's a Midwesterner, by heart. He had hunted a lot. I was born in my youth when my father was still alive. I just love taking my young son out. Do you know it's harder to understand Ryan than it is to understand Jim? And I don't know German. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I have a good cockroach monster voice. <laughs> yep. Scarily convincing, yeah. honestly. Yeah. Thank you! <laughs> Nathan and Dawn, you will arrive back at the at the German club. Uh, the thugs mm -hmm. will be elated to see you both. It is for Dawn! Other, other employer! Yeah! Join us! We have nice sign passes to Zoo! Oh, excellent! Yeah! We love the Zoo! Yeah! I like, had them more excited to see Dolan than the guy. Ich liebe dich, Zoo! Ich liebe dich, Zoo! There's a present out front for you guys, but you might want to get rid of it at some point. You might say it's hot. Yeah. I know a guy! Excellent. He would take a car for good price! Excellent. Well then. Toss him the keys. Get a good price for it. This is another rental. You guys go through so many rentals and they just yeah. disappear. It's like, how many rentals do you have just disappear? One. Well, we returned the van. You did return the van, actually. Yep. It only smells the... slightly gorilla. Yeah. And the other van wasn't a rental. It was just the zoo's. And it's probably got, like, zoo stuff on it, so they'll probably get it back. It's just kind of wrecked. Well, I mean, like, overall throughout your adventures, though. Oh. Well, yeah, we've, we've ditched a few. Mm -hmm. I imagine the ones that we haven't had to ditch, we've returned, though. <laughs> there have been a few of those. Alright. Uh, how long are you partying with the, the thugs? Uh, I'm gonna try and feed, because I'm fucking hungry. Okay. Uh, you could probably find someone and proposition them, sort of say. Excellent. I'm sure there's someone around here that would, you know, be, you know, you could find. Excellent. I'm probably, you know, sitting in my, sitting in my room, staring at the ceiling, contemplating how I'm never going to be able to return to Berlin again. <laughs> <laughs> probably even Germany itself. <laughs> the list, like the list of places you never can return to again are like growing. Chicago. Well, actually, Berlin. I don't... Yeah. Uh, but it's kind of just like, hmm. Because well, if you think about it, I was the vet that they saw, then I have on the police cam when they got attacked, and it's kind of just like, I'm probably going to be linked to all of this. <laughs> yeah. More so than everyone else. You yeah. Yeah. Why why you you choose a fake back? name? Yes. Yeah, but you... I can't... Ha I don't have a fake face, so... Look, plastic surgery will fix that. Yeah. T Teddy Johnson just can't show up in Berlin for any time soon. I'm sorry, Theodore Johnson. Good old Theodore. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Other than that, um, <clears throat> I'll I'll get my feeding on in the bathroom or something. Sure. How much are you taking? Two blood. Okay. I'm just gonna hang just, out and dance oh, with the Just enough. Yeah. Uh, Ryan will probably, like, after spending some time in the shower, we'll probably, like, uh, spend some quality time with you. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably fine to hang out yeah. after. <laughs> it's just like, you know, Especially it's like I take my shower. Especially giant cockroach. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a German house. They got some German board games. You're probably in Carcassonne. <laughs> there you go. works. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh. Eventually, Nathan and Dawn, I assume you will head back to the place. Uh, how are you getting back? Taxi. I mean, you probably get a ride from the thugs. I was going to oh. say, ask one of the thugs for a ride to, like, the general neighborhood. Yeah. <clears throat> They'd gladly do it to you. Like, uh, a couple of thugs will go off in the car you left them to take care of it. Uh, but Johansson and the rest of them will... will... will uh, take you back to the house. And, or, or the neighborhood and drop you off. If you need thugs again, just let us know. <laughs> will do. Party gentlemen! Greatest night of our lives! Yeah! Dorman's... And you get to go back to the zoo. Yeah. Dorman waves enthusiastically as they leave, her arms covered in glow sticks and glitter. <laughs> yeah. So, how was your night, Dawn? Oh, I had a great time. We got, a, we got the zoo passes because we beat up some of the other protesters. Fantastic. Yeah. I think of things when it is unsmoothly as usual for you guys. Actually, much more smoothly than usual. <laughs> <laughs> I successfully knocked out two police officers. All by yourself? All by myself. We accomplished the things that we wanted to. And, as far as I'm aware, the uh, gorilla has been delivered ghouled to the appropriate place. Ah, excellent! Our meeting is apparently set up for tomorrow night with Nefertiti, and we should be good. I, I guess I can cancel hanging out with some of those guys to come. I would greatly appreciate it, as I believe, if I recall correctly, Nefertiti is not Cameroon. Ah. So, a little bit of extra muscle would be much appreciated. Okay, but if we get done early, I'm going out again. Oh, sir. Right, and you can make it back to the uh, townhouse. Who won Carcassonne? Uh, <laughs> roll me a d10. Okay. This is the simplest game of Carcassonne I've ever seen. Uh, Ryan did. Just by a couple <laughs> points. Uh, he was trying for, like, a, a, a city maneuver and drew the right tile right the last turn kind of thing. So he got, like, this big right. city completed right last turn. Just to get enough extra points. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> he, he, he suffered luck of the draw for you. It was like, dang. So Alrighty. it's a close game though. Um, so well, it's, uh you'll come across the two of them finishing up a board game. Ah, who won? Oh, I did. I got the title I needed last turn. It was great. Well, congratulations! Yeah, I was about Brian. to win, but he got a lucky draw. Mm. Oh, you had some well, good strategy happens. there. This is some interesting. Mm -hmm. Uh, these, uh, people here in Germany, they're really nice, and they know their board games. I just remember playing lots of Clue and Monopoly. I'm really great at Monopoly. I know a board game convention that, uh, we'll need to check out at some point. Oh, I've been to a couple of those, but that was in my youth. Mm hmm Once you settle down, you didn't do much of that, and then, um... Other things happened, you know, when you become a giant roach, and it really just changes your perspective on uh, going to places with a lot of people that can cause you uh, horrible bowel movements. Mm -hmm. How's uh, Great Lord Cockroach doing? Oh, just fine. Uh, you know, we were talking the other day, and it turns out that, uh, you know, uh, we made some uh, good friends here. Um, he's saying that, uh, the rest of, uh, the team, uh, has been teaming up with some other folks that have been helping him out a lot. The rest of the team? Oh, you're, uh, the rest of your friends. Oh, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, right. and I'm supposed to send a message to you from the great Lord Cockroach. He says, uh, thank you for permitting us to use uh, revolutionary leader Samuel. A oh. revolutionary leader? I, that's what he said. Well, he is very well. Uh, in trouble. I'm gonna text Samuel. <laughs> <laughs> well, as far as you know, he didn't have his phone, so. Yeah, we have it, don't we? Yes. I'm gonna text him anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Just send a text to Samuel. It's like, where are you? Re <laughs> no, no, no. Revolutionary leader Samuel. I'm intrigued. <laughs> <laughs> and there may be a response to that at some point. Yes. <laughs> mm hmm. <clears throat> uh... Emil, I'm sure you'll like Samuel. Well, you'll get used to him. <laughs> you'll get used to him. Rob the small. Samuel's you'll... fine. It's... There's there's a lot of things that you'll have in common. <laughs> um, your presentation is not one of them. Mm. Also, your scent. Yeah. So <laughs> I forgot that I have really good scent. <laughs> <laughs> the sewer is room is rumble. <laughs> All right. I am ready to hit the hay and pray that nothing else happens until we wake. Uh, and it's a little early, but I think that's actually a perfect time to leave off, actually. <laughs> yeah. This yeah. really this is a really great time. You stole a gorilla. <laughs> and, Yay! And with you everything succeeded at stealing a gorilla. <laughs> yeah. You had some really good roles only one there. Of us got in, in, and only one of us got really bad notoriety. <laughs> <laughs> yes. As an American doctor and... that assisted a vet from the zoo for stealing a gorilla. Or maybe. They actually probably don't know whether the, the female vet was in charge of it. Actually, from the sounds the, of it, all... she wasn't involved, though. Everything would point towards maybe she wasn't, maybe she was, you know? Is it, well, here's, here's the thing, too. Because of Nathan's invisibility, she wasn't around when the cops came around. It was me and an unconscious guy. Yeah. <laughs> and no sign of the doctor. Nope. <laughs> so. Yeah. That's why I'm like, this is probably all going to get pinned on me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. But at the same time, like, the only thing that's really weird about this, there's like two big things that are really weird about this. First of all, that the doctor was said to have showed up at the zoo because uh -huh. people saw her there. But she doesn't remember going. All she remembers is going to bed that night and waking up, mm -hmm. presumably with the yeah. police knocking at her door. Yeah. The gorilla is missing, and she has no idea what's happened to it. But... As far as the zoo is concerned, she was the last person seen with it, along with the American vet and the assistant. <clears throat> the cop camera shows footage of the American vet and the assistant and the gorilla. And then the cameras basically go dark. And the cop car ends up at the lady's house that was supposed to have the gorilla. The van that had the gorilla is destroyed almost as if a gorilla attacked itself out of it. The American doctor is nowhere to be found and the assistant looks like he's been slashed up by a gorilla. Also and report that he was. Blood. He might also report like he's report lots of blood, but he probably would report that he was attacked by the American. By the American doctor. Yeah, but he's but, also lost a lot of blood. Yeah, so it's hard to <laughs> yeah, so it's hard to say like how much of his uh, what it knows what happened was actually going on. Right, and the one saving grace too is is because the doctor was there but not there. It shows that whoever did this may have had access to good disguises. So my face might not be trusted, which is the only saving grace I have. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Ooh, we should yep. make sure we send a text off of her phone if we have. <clears throat> Wait, do we have her phone? And be like, it's done, mm -hmm. and then chuck the phone. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that probably happens on you guys' way back. <laughs> yeah. Good thinking, Doc. Excellent. <laughs> hanging out with those thugs. Mm -hmm. oh, great ideas now. She then proceeds to fall asleep in all the weird makeup and glitter and bits all over the bed. It's, there's gonna be glitter in her hair for months. Oh no, I'm gonna leave like a glitter trail wherever I go that's gonna be evidence against me. <laughs> Maybe. Anyway, yeah, so we'll, we'll hopefully be back next week where we'll uh, continue with these adventures and we'll figure out the meeting with Nefertiti and see how well that goes. And maybe even get to the meeting with Maria, uh, depending on how well the meeting with Nefertiti goes. Probably well, not great. Well, <laughs> could go either way with you guys. <laughs> I could definitely we say keep that. keep rolling four, eight, four, six, five successes. Maybe it'll go okay. Or you could botch good. again. But okay. <laughs> I'll be honest, I botched the most during this session. I got two zeros. <laughs> yeah. And one of them was with uh, seven dice. Jeez. <laughs> Thankfully that one wasn't a negative. I rolled enough successes, but I just also rolled three, three successes and three ones. What? That was for my leadership. <laughs> I actually put points into it, and I specialized in it, and I was a natural leader. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's why you need more thugs around, because then you can like, order them around, and they're actually really good at doing what you ask them to do. Except I didn't order the thugs. I ordered the the uh, assistant zookeeper. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. It worked, though. It worked. It did? Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, again, like when Worm made the point that you'd had her in awe, I was like, yeah, you can convince her with words then. So, uh, why don't we kind of go, go around and uh, say who you are, where to find you. Let's start with Carpe. I am the Carpe DM. Uh, you can find me on Twitter and on Warframe on PlayStation. Mm -hmm. And occasionally on here with my good friend Tantus. Yep. Uh, Jess. I am Bubblegum Viking on the Twitch and the Twitter, because I need to stop saying YouTube. I say it out of habit, but I haven't used that YouTube in like two years. <laughs> uh, yeah. And I'm gonna play Pokemon, probably, on Friday, and finally stream again. Yep. And Worm? Uh, I'm Diamond Worm, Twitch and Twitter. Uh, technically YouTube, although I don't have an account link, it's just you know, random numbers and letters. Um, but uh, I also haven't used it much either. Um, but yeah, uh, and I'll get back to streaming eventually. Right now I'm kind of just focusing on prepping for my next game, which I'll be running on my channel. Uh, and so I'm probably going, so I'm not worrying too much about streaming until my schedule stabilizes, so eventually. Mm -hmm. And myself, I'm Tantus Nairavangikovan. You can find me on uh, here very often. Uh, I, if you wanted to get like the full spiel of kind of stuff going on, check out the end of uh, Records of Evil for a bunch of this stuff. But I'm going to kind of fill it in with a little bit more information. Say, like, if you're looking for stuff on YouTube, should be getting it up sometime this week. I'll get back to a normal schedule again. Um, I should be able to. Um, if we're looking for more of this game, we should be back next week. Uh, same time, same place. Uh, same with records. Both the games should be back next week. Um, and uh, next big thing is on the schedule is definitely discussing tabletop on Saturday. Maybe a seven days sometime during the week. Other streams up in the air, depending on if I find some time in the afternoon and get my schedule down a little better. But, um, yep. Yeah. So uh, thank you, everybody, who stopped by, joined us, checked some stuff out, enjoyed the show. Um, yeah, back next week, where they'll probably meet with, well, they'll meet with Nefertiti, and hopefully things won't go wrong again.
We'll find out. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.